Our featured speaker is the CEO of Foresight Health, David Johnson. Dave is known for defining market-based solutions to healthcare reform. Dave's critical thinking has really helped me in approaching uh, problems within healthcare. He is extremely cerebral, but yet highly relatable. And I think that's a unique combination. I met him when he was still a banker. <laughs> and I think he had really, really great insights into how the bond market is in, influences hospital practices. Dave is absolutely brilliant. But he is just so passionate about changing the healthcare system. Uh, Terry, my wife, has actually just overcome uh, a pretty nasty bout with, with cancer. And, and uh, I remember at one point that we were in an academic medical center and, and uh, they were telling her that uh, she had to wait two weeks to get, um, uh, get a PET scan. And so even somebody like me that understood implicitly the nonsense I was hearing, um, when, you're actually, when it's actually your own family member on the line, you kind of pull back a little bit. What we as a system need to do is not put people like us or any of us in that position where we're choosing between what we know is not a great alternative and something that we think might even be a worse alternative. We're going to be giving people good choices, not, not mediocre or terrible ones. Coming out of college, the only thing I really wanted to do was go into the Peace Corps. So I ended up being a Peace Corps volunteer in Liberia, West Africa, teaching language arts, so basically English. Came back to the United States, uh, went to Harvard Kennedy School, got a degree in, in public policy, and discovered, um, somewhat to my surprise, that uh, I really liked uh, finance and statistics and econometrics. After a tour of uh, duty as a U.S. presidential management intern, I ended up uh, in investment banking uh, doing health care. So when you kind of put all that together, that gives me an ability to look at health care, this remarkably complex, nuanced uh, industry from any one of those four perspectives. And, and so if there's a reason people might find an interest in listening to me about health care, it's because I can bring each of those perspectives to bear on this industry and I think provide insights that um, maybe someone just more narrowly focused uh, wouldn't, wouldn't see. Dave has a really uh, great ability to challenge conventional thinking. He has a great uh, ability to draw parallels from outside healthcare. A deep understanding of American culture, of society, of, of the trends that are happening uh, globally and in the United States, and he's able to connect the dots. Part of what we need in healthcare is the ability to have a dialogue on what's the right care at the right place, at the right time, at the right price, that's, that's influenced by what the patients and the customers ultimately need, not by this myriad of, of uh, cultures and perspectives that, that, that come into the marketplace. The pieces that he writes, the book that he wrote, the speeches that he gives are so insightful. People listen to him and go, oh my gosh, and they come away with these ahas. He can make it real, so he can talk about policies and changes, but also talk about the economic consequences of what, what, what we might do. But another reason I'm very bullish is I think we can solve the healthcare issue by getting more effective resource utilization and we'll get extra. So the more that we can unleash the power of Americans uh, to make smart healthcare purchasing decisions and support them with the portfolio of companies that can aid in that or actually deliver on that promise, uh, watch out. Uh, and that's that's, that's what makes me hopeful. Is it's at our fingertips. There are many companies doing it today. We just have to figure, about, figure out how to apply it in more markets more expansively than we're